It's finally here. Star Wars Season of the Force is back at the Disneyland Resort. I am so excited for this because I'm a major Star Wars fan. But first, I'm gonna head into downtown Disney because I wanna get some merch. I'm not really wearing enough layers and I really want something a little bit more Star Wars. You have a Star Wars t-shirt on. Uh, but it's kind of chilly. It's actually really cold today. <laughs> like I can't handle anything under uh, 65 and I think it's like 59 degrees. So um, I wanted to get uh, maybe like a jacket, something I could wear that's very Star Wars-y, something that maybe is ex uh, a new thing that came out for season of the force. So um, we're gonna go into the Star Wars trading post first in downtown Disney because that's where you can find a lot of this merchandise. Looks like we have some construction walls up around the trading post, but there's still entrance. Here we go. Ooh, right away I already see some merch I like. This I caught my eye originally. It's like just like a nice little thing. zip up, which I appreciate because everything's a pool cool whatever these days. 70 bucks with magic and discount. Alright, then we have a bunch of new teas. Look at this one. I also like this little uh, cross body bag. Ooh, yub nub. He's riding a little walker. Just a little closer look at some of this. Oh, this bucket hat. Are these in? Are they back in? Have they always been in? I do appreciate that they're doing zip ups again. I should probably buy a zipped up just to tell them like, hey, by the way, zip ups, they're a thing. So all this art style is by Will Gay. I might get these too. I don't know, I want so many things. Okay, but really though, how is this not sold out yet? I'm okay. There's just so much fun stuff. Look at these ears. How many things do people want? Look at this. Beep boop. Of course I walked away with loot. <laughs> I'll show you because I'm gonna try these on. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna put the t-shirt on and the jacket on and all these things on. I need layers anyway today. It's cold. All right, I did find a shirt that I really liked. Uh, I'll show you right now. Um, but it's just like a Star Tour shirt. But what I really like is just some embroidery on it. This one was at um, the Star Wars Trading Post. It'll also be at the Starcade, and it was $39.99. All right, the journey is about to officially begin as we enter Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is where um, a lot of the new experiences will be, uh, namely a couple new characters I'm really excited to check out. So let's see. Oh, and we just spotted someone. Look what I found, oh my gosh, I'm such a fan. Are you on any missions to about um, Yes, I'm on a secret mission to see the new droids walking around. Have I you seen them? I haven't seen them yet, but maybe they're lurking around somewhere too. I can't wait. Thanks for saying hi. I just saw Sabine Wren. That's so cool. I know we've seen her at Star Wars Night before. Uh, this seems to be more updated Ahsoka vibe uh, costumes. So it's really cool to see her. I hope she sticks around for even longer than the season of the fourth. If you're not familiar with Sabine, she first was introduced in Star Wars Rebels, which was an animated series. And then later she became a live action character when Ahsoka came out. Must be spring at Disneyland. All right. So we're in the market because there's a new drink I want to try before we get some food. Um, it's full brew. So, you know, those are popular. Okay, today I'm checking out the Celto slush. It's green. It's got some cold brew in it. <laughs> um, so I really liked the Pula Blossom, blossom here. Um, it was it was a type of horchata that also had like ube, I think, in it. But this one has pond in, so I think that's why they made it green. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what it tastes like. It is a plant-based, so usually a horchata is plant-based, but it's plant-based horchata. Mix it, mix it. Let's take the sip of this. Oh, this is really good. It's like super creamy. Um, you could definitely taste the cold brew. It's got a little spike in there, but like the horchata is nice. It's not like super heavy. Like sometimes, you know, it's like really, really, really sweet, super heavy. This one's still, I mean, it's got that earthy flavor. I always say things like, like step here, you should taste kind of earthy. I think that's intentional, but um, if you are afraid of the green color, don't be, because I think that's just the pandan is not usually what color it is. 
If you did try the Pool of Blossom Slush before, you will definitely like this one. It's just like, it's got less of that ube flavor and more of like a vanilla-y flavor. That's like pretty much the big difference between the two. It's available at Kotsaka's Kettle, usually where they have the popcorn, you know, right in the marketplace. But now we're heading over, because we're actually like really, really hungry. We are not eating very much today, and it's kind of being been like bing, bang, boom, trying to get food in. Um, so we're gonna head over to Docking Bay 7 and see about getting some of the food. We're actually gonna go outside though and find a table like that. Okay, so first up, we were at Docking Bay 7. There's a couple food items I want to try here. One of them is brand new, the other one's a returning favorite. So the first one is, well, are these uh, fried chicken bao. So I think they're supposed to be like Tip Gift, which is like the Star Wars version of a chicken. Oh, but anyway, these are fried chicken bao. So they've got katsu sauce on them. There's like a slaw. Um, it's supposed to be really creamy, crunchy, tangy. So we're going to try that out. Cannot wait. Um, the other one is... Uh, the Dubak chili noodles, I am so glad these are back. Um, these are just like, these are like Italian noodles, but then they put um, sort of like Asian seasoning on them, as well as um, there's uh, red cabbage on here, and these really nice um, seasoned pieces of ground pork. These are pretty good. I mean, I'm not tasting a ton of sauce, and it really tastes just like, a piece of fried chicken in a soft bao bun. Um, I'm a huge fan of bao. Can't go wrong with fried chicken. It's good, but I'm gonna just give it like a seven out of 10 because it's just not like remarkable, but it is good. Like if someone made this for me at home, I would eat like five of them. But really I would love a lot more flavor in these. Um, but I think a lot of people might be their favorite if they just want something a little bit more on the mild side, but still also like the bao bun. My sister said she was a little bit worried that these are gonna be a little bit different. These chew back, um, do back chili noodles can be a little different than before. Um, so let's see, they look the same to me. This is really good. It's got, um, I love the Asian spices they use. It's got a little bit of a kick, not too, too crazy. Everything just feels like all the textures and like, I mean, it's funny that they use Italian, like these are like fettuccine noodles with it. Um, but maybe that's just kind of mix it up, make it feel a little bit more Star Wars-y versus like something you would just get at a restaurant. These are always nice and filling. I highly recommend the Dubak chili noodles, especially if you just like a little bit of spice. I made a mess. As long as nothing got on the all new Star Wars hoodie. <laughs> I just uh, finished over there at Docking Bay 7, kind of walking around, seeing if we can find the little BDX droids. Uh, do spot Boba Fett though, which I'm not used to seeing him like this far down. Okay, we just found him. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Just left Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on our way over to Tomorrowland for more of the Season of the Force festivities. This time we're gonna ride some attractions, um, check out Star Tours and Hyperspace Mountain because remember the new scenes got added to Star Tours. All right, here we are at Star Tours, gonna ride. I wanna check out the new scenes. I'm so excited for this because it's been a bit since we've had new. Hey, how's it going? Since we've had new scenes added to it, right? I mean, I don't know how many years it's been. Program to deliver you on time every time. So when your plans call for intergalactic travel, call Star Tours. Contact your travel agent today. Okay, 
that was awesome. I'm a happy camper. I love Ahsoka, and then we got to see Mando and Grogu, so. And then the Pergil, the space whales. Now the question is, are we gonna ride that two more times to see if we can see the other scenes, or should we hold those for another day? What would you do? So also, right when you get off the ride, there are a ton of things that you can get, just like I showed you earlier at Star Wars Trading Post um, in downtown Disney. There's a lot of that merch is gonna be in this store. Oh, and I just discovered this, which I didn't, I, maybe I missed this somehow in some of the info, but there's an activity that you can do and you can get this. This is totally free. You do it in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, stuff that you find around the entire land, but it looks like so much fun. And I just went up to the register in um, the Star Traders in Tomorrowland and they just, I just asked them, hey, if I can have one of these and they gave me a little pencil and this to fill everything out. So we should do it. All right, seated at Galactic Grill and I am absolutely starving, but look at all the stuff that I got. We got chicken tenders and we got this new burger and we got some waffle fries with some awesome toppings on it I'm gonna go into. And then also a dessert that I thought was totally sold out in mobile order and I'm so happy that it's not because, um, well it was sold out in mobile order, but the tip is um, if some item that you don't see on mobile order, especially at Galactic Girl, you can always just go ask them and say like, hey, do you guys have this? Um, sometimes they just take it off mobile order because they have limited quantities they totally told me or something like that and then they'll put it back on. But anyway, let's get into this food. Oh, and yes, that is Jabba. We'll get into him in a second. <laughs> All right, let's start off with these waffle fries. Uh, so these ones are back. Um, they're not a new item, but they have pieces of meat, uh, pork all over them and it's chorizo on top. So looks to me like some of the cheese isn't fully melted. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but there's also some cheese sauce in there, it looks like. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe that's just chorizo. No, there's chorizo right here, so it must be some cheese sauce, but anyway. <laughs> I got a, I got a big chunk right there. Let's see. Yeah, it's got lots of flavors going on. Tons of cheese. I love the cheese. Um, I will say that it's got a little spicy cake, which I'm always surprised when I get a Disneyland with a little spice. I don't know. Maybe I just don't expect it. Maybe I expect like just a tiny bit, but I'm like, oh, actually, like, kind of kicked me a little. Yeah, I'm gonna probably give this like. 7.5 out of 10 just because it's like i don't think of it as like a super standout item but it is really tasty next up we got a bantha burger so this is interesting they blended both um a vegetable and beef patty and then they also um looks like they added some extra meat in the middle again the cheese is not fully melted kind of wish that was a thing but uh let's check it out It's tangy, it's spicy. This is even more flavorful than the, the loaded fries. I mean, this is 7.5. It's something I'd recommend if somebody wants to try a little different burger, spicy burger. It doesn't go too crazy with flavor, like, but it isn't like, you know, this is kind of more like a fast food cafeteria type option. It's not like, this is not like gourmet. It's All right, so here we have the Wookiee Parfait. Um, been looking forward to this one. It's like the Darth by Chocolate Parfait, but it's got caramel and there's chocolate sponge cake. Um, and then also these are all like um, chocolate, like little crunchies and stuff like that. And then of course it's got um, a little Wookiee belt on top with the texture for the fur. For, I, I love it. But the real test comes with how it tastes. So let's dive into that. <laughs> I honestly love this. Like, I'm a big caramel fan, so this has got lots of that. It's like, it's not like the creamy kind, it's like blended in the mousse. But... Definitely recommending this one. This one, I'm gonna give this nine out of 10. Because I have a sweet tooth. All right, so I did get the Jabba the Hutt popcorn bucket. Um, they call it a bucket, because really you can actually get a popcorn with it, you can get fries with it, or you can just do what I did, get a bottle of water, because I already got fries with my meal. So it has this nice lanyard that it comes with, all these little Star Wars details on it, as you can see right here. And he's a little bit smaller than I thought, but he's actually the right size of a popcorn bucket, so that's not a complaint here. Also, if you zoom in a little here, you can see, there's little like tattoos, little markings. 
in his precious little eyes. He wants to stare lovingly into your heart. But anyway, um, another thing is, before I show the really cool thing, because there's a really cool thing. He does come with a little salacious bee crumb that is like a straw clip, which is kind of like leveling it up for me in a way. Like, usually you have to buy these separately, and I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to buy this separately because he is adorable. You guys know him, he's a little creature next to Java, screams into the night. He's all part of it. And then, let me show you the really cool When you open Jabba's head to put in the pot. You can't tell me that was not satisfying. Also, when you close his mouth, he's still making noises. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Just goes, mm. well, he's still 31.99 and worth every single penny, aren't you, Jabba? I think that's a yes. Next up, Hyperspace Mountain, the Star Wars version of the ride. I wish they kept this around longer than just a couple months, but we get what we get. We get Haunted Mansion Holiday for several months, but this one we get for just weeks. It's so good, though. I wish I could show you the inside, but... I seem to experience it myself. <laughs> Not our picture! <laughs> One tip I will give about riding Hyperspace Mountain though is that it books up, like it is so popular. It's one of those rides that while it's here, everybody wants to go on it, sometimes multiple times. So you may see Lightning Lanes book up by like noon. Um, you also might see the line, like right now the line is 120 minutes. Granted it's the first day, but like seeing it at 90 minutes is also a thing. Like, so definitely plan to ride that one early. Okay, so we're just finishing up and heading back into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for one last thing. Uh, decided that we are going to grab some of the new drinks at Oga's Cantina because there are some limited time, like only for season of the Force drinks. They just called us. We just uh, did uh, the walk-up list, which honestly, if you can't get a reservation to Oga's Cantina, just join the walk-up list. Like if it doesn't populate right away, um, sometimes it's later in the day, you can get one a little bit easier than midday, but I, I just joined when I was nearby and then we just pop back in later. And here are the drinks. Uh, so one of them comes with like a little bit of the spicy stuff to pour in it. So I'm gonna do a little bit. It's kind of got, it's got tequila. So I'm like, let's check it out. I feel like I have this one on the Galactic Star Cruiser because I specifically remember pouring the stuff in and pouring way too much in. It smells just like it. It's got that like bitter, like spicy, like, mm, just a little bit of spice. Just a tiny bit of spice. The peach is not, I don't know, try this. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it, because I'm committed. It's the aftertaste. Yeah, doesn't it taste like a band-aid? I was told it tastes like a smoky. It's got a mesquite though. Someone said it smells, it tastes like a band-aid. He said mesquite smell. What does it taste like? What does that one taste like? Uh, so it tastes heavily mint. So mint? Very okay. All right. But so if you like mint, uh, that's a mint martini. You like it? Okay, he likes it. I can't believe it, but we are 
kind of sort of toward the end of our night. So there is one last thing to check out and that is the Galactic Fireworks. Now they're starting a new thing where normally you can see the fireworks from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but this time they're actually syncing the music to the fireworks. So you'll hear like John Williams scores and all this really cool stuff, make you feel like it's really like a Star Wars happening. Because before when you were in Batu and you were watching the fireworks from up above, shooting in the distance, uh, it was just kind of silent. It was pretty, but it was just kind of silent. So now with the music added, I think this is gonna be a really nice touch. But also Disney did just confirm that the Star Wars uh, fireworks with the music will continue after the season of the Force ends on June 2nd. So even if you're coming after that, uh, you can check it out. Um, there's, you know, especially if you're staying a few days, like you wanna see the fireworks one day and then come in here another day and see the fireworks from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's a really good way to see them. And I, I really do actually like the view, especially as they shoot up over Millennium Falcon. But a really good tip is you can stand anywhere in the land and you can see them if you just look toward the castle, um, which is kind of behind Oga's Cantina. Um, so that's, I've done that several times and there's not usually a lot of crowding on that spot and you should be able to hear the music all around. But tonight it's pretty windy. Am I betting they're gonna cancel the fireworks? Yeah, I think that's probably going to happen. So I don't know if I'm going to stick around for it, but I will plug in um, some video of it if there is, if there are fireworks tonight. So there's just some of the fun things you can do um, during Season of the Forest. Again, it runs through June 2nd. It's at Disneyland Park, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and Tomorrowland. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me grow, especially if you like this video and want to see more from me. It helps tell me like, hey, yeah, David, make more videos. Let's see what you got. Just wrote Star Tours one more time, and um, I didn't realize the Pergil scene is the only scene, but they change out the middle, and we did see a different middle scene. So you're either gonna get Andor, Ahsoka, or the Mandalorian and Grogu in the middle scene, and the Pergil scene is the same at the end. Who would have known?